if there's one thing I like, I like being creeped out, I like being scared. Something I found out quite recently when we started playing Resident Evil games on stream. Ages and waste disposal. No, 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 Jesus no, Christ. no, 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 no. Exactly, just like that. So I like to fall down little rabbit holes on YouTube of creepy or scary videos. There's a couple of good channels I watch regularly and one I found more recently was Ring Doorbells. I've got one, you've probably got one, or you know someone that's got one. And it's one of my genuine fears is that one night I will check my app or a notification will go off and there'll be something unexpected at the front door. So I found some compilations and I thought we could watch them and have a little look. And if you like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button below. Let's get watching. Two large men approach with their hoods up and faces concealed. The first turns around and is the lookout. The second turns around out of fear. Now, Beach, I would be literally... I've got... Hang on. I would literally be at the front door with my sword. No way, Beach. No one coming in my house. It's also good that there's dogs. My dog literally... A carrier bag could fly, fly past a window and he barks like crazy. A Reddit user named Addison W has posted one of the creepiest things ever caught on doorbell cam to the Chills Narrator subreddit. A large scary man bikes up to their front door and has this to say. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, looked in one day and saw him. And, oh God, I can't stop. <gasps> now that is creepy. Like literally targeted someone because he saw them and can't stop thinking about them. Oh, no, thank you. No, 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 no. The creepy man has his face covered and a light on his head that could be used to better see into people's windows. I don't know which is creepier, the fact that he has apparently been looking into the windows of random people's homes or the fact that he calmly confesses it to them later into their doorbell cameras. I hope that person never returned. The Fresno Sheriff's Office in California has released three separate videos of a creepy man caught on doorbell cameras across the neighborhood trying to take them. Why would you want to steal someone's doorbell? He reaches out with a tool and you can see him trying to loosen the casing with one hand while trying to pull out the doorbell camera with the other. How stupid though, Beach, you heard of the cloud? And also, you can't just rip them out of the walls. They're, like, bolted in. Like, my one, it's got, like, a good, like, five-inch nails. Like, you can't just... And there's two of them. You can't just rip them out. He has more success at a different house as he pops open the casing and stuffs the doorbell... Okay, I'll take it back. Maybe some of them you can't get off. ...bell camera into something he brought with him, probably to pawn some place later. He tries one more house without success, and as he turns around, you can see a backpack that could be filled with doorbell cameras for all we know. Why would you do it in the middle of the day? Like, I don't get that. Why? And if you're stealing, if you've got a fixation with doorbells, like doorbell cameras, then surely you know that they live stream to the internet? A Reddit user named Miss Doolittle Tex posted some really creepy things caught on camera for the Chills Narrator subreddit to analyze. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression walks to her front door and doesn't ring it, just stands there confused. He thinks about doing who knows what next and then decides against it. Oh, I was gonna say maybe, maybe he was drunk or under the influence. He leaves her door but not her property, going on to walk around the perimeter and crossing into a neighbor's backyard without permission. He returns a short while later, running away and full of energy. Oh my god, Beach, he just wants to jump. Look at him, look at him, go Beach. Miss Doolittle Tex calls the police to make a report and based on this video evidence, I think she was absolutely in the right to do so. There's no reason for him to be creeping around like that. A rather shady looking man walks up to a house in Cohasset, Massachusetts. Ah, uh, nah, Beach, I really don't like this. Look, it's a slow walk. Like, no, 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 no. And turns on the flashlight app. I 
That looks like Joe from you. Notice that he's already been caught. The doorbell camera's recording his every move as he appears to shine all around on the ground, possibly lifting up a welcome mat and some other places to look for spare keys. He looks directly at the doorbell at 27 seconds, but seems to either not notice or not care about the camera pointed at him. Later that night, this house was entered, and the police wanted to talk to him. Judging by all of the suspicious activity, I think there's a good chance that this suspect was the one responsible. A scary 3am videos got a YouTuber named Logical Leprechaun scratching his head in disbelief along with both of his parents too. Now see, I always think that's just like a technical fault. That's just someone walking by. Although it does look really creepy. Like, if I was laying in bed and that my notification went off on my phone and I saw that, I would... Nah, nah. Nah. Get that door beat. I'm gone. This thing runs for like another minute and he never comes back. He never does anything else. Wherever this... this never rings again. Is I wearing a dress or something? Again. The mysterious figure sets off the ring doorbell camera alert one time and never again despite passing back and forth numerous times. It's the 4th of July, so somebody could have been walking around outside. Jennifer Garcia and her boyfriend are woken up at 1 in the morning by an alarm from their ring cam. This weird round object floating around on a clear night is what sets off the alert. Too slow moving to be a bug, not to mention transparent. No way, I would be out there with my holy water and my leaf blower and blow that creepy smoke away. No way. So what do you think this mysterious unexplained light could be? I'm not sure if it's a real paranormal video. It looks close to the lens, so I would probably say maybe like dust particle or like an insect maybe. I don't know, it was fucking creepy though. A creepy stranger in a crazy mood is apparently trying her best to freak out the owner of this doorbell camera. With all the weird things she's caught on tape doing, she walks towards the doorbell camera. <laughs> Beach, what are you doing? Camera while making a face, and she turns around when she sees the headlights of an oncoming car, clearly aware that she's doing something wrong and afraid of getting caught. Soon she's back at it again, this time chomping at the camera and then doing some weird movements with her arms. Maybe she's got the Fuck it up, Beach! Fuck it up! wrong house and thinks she knows the owner of this doorbell cam. Maybe she's trying to get their attention and wants to be let in. She doesn't necessarily look dangerous but doesn't appear to be in her right mind and could probably change moods at any moment. So I don't blame the homeowner for not opening the door and seeing what she wanted. I doubt it was anything good. I see if that was <laughs> When she was going up really close to it and like going to bite the camera, I think I'd scream through the um, like the intercom and I'd shout boo and watch them jump. <laughs> but then I'd probably piss them off and they'd probably kick my door down and chop me up into little pieces. Smear of a man floats across the sidewalk and materializes into a person. Their lower half is missing and then they disappear. One of the weirdest things caught on camera is how the apparent ghost checks its phone. That's a camera glitch. There's no way there's like a ghost walking out there with their iPhone 13s checking their, checking their text messages from their other- When it first appears, either this is a strange camera glitch, or I guess we still keep our phones in the afterlife. This scary doorbell video is from the Chills Narrator subreddit, and it was posted by Tay Harley Quinn. They say their camera has never acted weird before, but for some reason this mysterious shadow figure, transparent and paranormal, Beach, it's Usain Bolt, is traveling at a high rate of speed behind a truck at random. Some people say this is a person on a bike, while others say it's somebody running. That's some Spider-Man shit. Look at that. A small number of people say that this is a glitch, but fail to go into much explanation, even though I would like to hear more. Until then, I think this could be a real ghost sighting caught on home security camera. No, I don't think it is. This convincingly real ghost sighting was caught on a ring doorbell Now, see, I'm gonna pause it here. That looks like... It's been edited, like maybe a mask or something. It looks like that there's like they've like blurred it out. It it looks too straight, like from like the torso going backwards, it's like a blur and it looks too straight. That's my opinion anyway. 
camera tilted at an interesting perspective that shows us more than most other scary doorbell cam videos ever do. The mysterious figure appears from nothingness. Again, a ghost with a phone. Maybe it's the other, maybe it's the same person. Maybe it's the same ghost. Steve Jobs? Which is scary enough, but what makes one of the creepiest things ever caught in the history of doorbell cameras is how the apparition continues to walk down the street for 37 seconds before disappearing again. Feel free to prove me wrong, but this could actually be a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Freaky, right? So yeah, that was a couple of creepy doorbell cameras. Let me know what you think down in like below in the comments. Um, what are your theories on most of them and... Uh, what would you do in a situation like that as well? Uh, if, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to hit that sub and that like button. Um, if you do want to jump over to Twitch, I'm there Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Play a lot of Resident Evil, bit of Dead by Daylight. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and catch you on the next one.